Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sims 4 Cow Plant Challenge where we are welcoming the Green family's beautiful dawn morning by uh, eating some delicious veggie burgers that Pine seems to be ridiculously proud about. He keeps sniffing his burgers and I don't know, at least he's in a good mood. This poor man has spent so many days sobbing in a bathtub lately because he's so worried about the stress of this household. And uh, speaking of what's been going on in this household, last Last night, we had something very interesting happen with Fern and her sister, Amber. The two young ladies were up late, late, late last night, and they actually met the ghost of their great aunt, Amelia. Amelia Cowberry, who actually is the one who used to own this farm and who Devin inherited the farm from in a quirk of legal paperwork. And uh, Fern's kind of completely in awe. She really loves fantasy. She really loves uh, learning a little bit more about mysteries like that. And she actually had a fantastic time talking with Allison. So she ended up becoming pretty close to Allison. She didn't end up befriending the ghost. That would have been amazing because one of our requirements for our cow plant challenge is to befriend the ghost. The household is cursed, which means ghost will show up pretty often. We've actually had uh, Pine almost met the one other ghost that showed up in this world. So we almost had him meet another ghost. Uh, I can't remember who it was. I think it was like Nina Kalantine's ghost showed up. So he almost met that ghost because this lot is cursed, but he did not meet Allison. I thought that was really amazing how Allison showed up and only revealed herself to the two girls and the only reason that she did show up was actually so that she could protect Amber from the monster under the bed. So Amber's still not sure what to think about Ghost. I think she's kind of a little bit nervous about this idea, but Fern really, really clicked with Allison. So I'm hoping Allison will reappear because the lot is still cursed and they might be able to become friends because if we become friends with Allison, we lift the curse on the farm, dun dun dun, and then we will be able to change the negative lot trait of being cursed to a positive lot trait of having fertile soil, which will help us with our quest to rejuvenate this farm, which now that I'm up here, with a bird's eye view looks really really bad right now we have so much work to do still on this farm and we are going to actually be making a lot more progress because we are going to be picking up the pace it has been two episodes a week of the cow plant challenge but we are actually going to be having several episodes start rolling out maybe as many as four or more a week because we need to start preparing for the sims 4 cats and dogs huzzah and we are going to be enjoying cats and dogs hopefully with young fern over here who i plan on making our generation three legacy heiress as a veterinarian so you are going to definitely see a lot more progress here guys hopefully we'll meet the challenge so that maybe fern can like take over the family farm and fill it full of puppies when cats and dogs comes out next month but that would be absolutely amazing but all right to get that stuff done we need to start using up every single one of our days i have a little day counter we are on day four officially of the farm we only get 24 days to do all of this work in. And uh, that means that, um, you know, Miss uh, Miss Devin here would want everybody to be chipping in. And she's gone upstairs to kind of check in on the kids. She's trying to wash the dishes upstairs for some reason. What happened downstairs? Did something break? The dishwasher, oh, the dishwasher's running, so she can't add more dishes to it. But Devin is like trying to wash the dishes and check on the girls, and what does she find but her golden child, Amber, making a huge mess. So I don't think she would put up with that very well. Uh, let's see. So let's do parenting, uh, discipline recent behavior, and I think she would be, she would definitely be like the firm disciplinarian versus the calm, or like the strict yell at for making mess, express disappointment, tell not to make a mess. Um, is she feeling, okay, she's happy. So I feel like she would just tell instead of yell if she had been in a bad mood. I feel she like she would come in and yell at Amber for making this mess, but we've got to stop this. Amber, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be on top of this. 
There we go. So there we go. Oh, that's so cool. And now Amber gained more responsibility. I'm still new to the parenting pack. This is the first time I've played with it. And it's so cool. All right. So I think that then she would definitely, uh, let's see, teach to say sorry. <laughs> and she would want to have a, a good apology from little Amber here. And then I think that we're actually going to have Devin go downstairs and she's really focused. She is really, really focused. Okay, and then let's see what else is going on. Oh, and I think that Devin might be able to sense that her daughter needs to take care of her needs. So, um, encourage holding bladder. No, <laughs> influence too. Uh, let's influence. So she's like, let's go influence her to eat because she's like, look, honey, you can't make a mess up here. I'm trying to take some deep breaths and handle this well. Why don't you go downstairs and get something to eat and let me go find your sister and tell her to help you clean this up? Because I feel like Devin's mind would be like, where's Fern? Fern's been kind of vanishing lately because Fern has been vanishing lately. She's actually been disappearing and going off to do, oh no, Fern, don't do it. You're gonna be so embarrassed if you try to take a bubble bath while your dad's in there for crying out loud. You're not a little girl anymore. There we go. But I think that Devin would call Fern in there we go and yell for her and she will be thinking about the fact that Fern has been kind of like disappearing a lot lately and that's because Fern's been going off to do a ton of uh, fishing and she's been having a great time fishing and Devin would just see her daughter it's almost noon her eldest isn't even dressed yet her youngest is making a mess and she has to spend the day working on her gardening skills so guess what's about to happen for Fern hey you uh, we're going to influence to clean up mess. So <laughs> Devin is actually going to shift gears and she's going to want Fern to start cleaning up some of these messes. All right. So Fern and Fern just wants to take a nap. She's not going to be able to because her mom is going to come over here in just a second. How much longer do you have to teach? Sorry. Okay. I think we're going to, we're going to skip out on the rest of teaching to say sorry. There we go. And, and Amber's about to pee herself, poor thing. Oh no, Amber, don't get sick. Oh no. Amber's getting a little bit sick because this household is so filthy. But once we repair the house by fixing everything up, we can actually go ahead and remove the filthy lot trait. So there we go. All right, so Fern is now captured at home. I don't think she would be very happy about that. She has to do a whole bunch of cleaning to take care of those messes that her siblings are making. Uh, we've got a sleeping little baby toddler, which is really sweet. And <laughs> no, <laughs> I turned my back on Pine for a second. And this deeply emotional, sweet man is crying his eyes out over Allison's death again. <laughs> it's not like she was a young whippersnapper. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, let's have Devin come down and console, console her soon to be husband. I actually think having them get married after we complete the challenge. Some of you guys have been suggesting that, like transforming the whole lot into a beautiful wedding location and having the wedding here. I think that sounds amazing. That's definitely something we're going to do to end the challenge. All right, there we go. If we if we win it, if we don't win it, maybe they'll just elope. <laughs> maybe Devin will just be like, oh, whatever. All right, but let's come down and let's go ahead. <laughs> how do we, how do we, um... How do we like console this poor man, uh, brag about being courier champion, complain about bills, console about death. There we go. There's actually a console option. And then she wants to tell a joke, which isn't really the most appropriate thing, but let's go ahead and then uh, let's try to tell a joke about ducks. Why not? Maybe she's like, you know what? You know what, sweetie? Oh, he's just so cute. The way he's always so upset about things. All right, there we go trying to take his mind off the fact that you know allison died there we go hopefully that'll put him in a better mood he seems to be happy he also wants to get married to her and he wants to hug someone so let's let him go ahead and hug if i can find it all right there we go hug lovingly oh there we go let's let him go ahead and hug his his fiance they might i keep calling him husband and wife they're technically not married well they aren't married yet but <laughs> you guys know what i mean all right, there we go. And they might as well be. All right, let's hug lovingly. Come on. Oh, there you go, buddy. Does that count as a hug? Yeah, it does. Wonderful. 
All right, and I think that Devin, can she like encourage him to do anything? I don't know if she can encourage actions, add to group. Yeah, I don't think she can encourage him to do anything like you can in Sims 2. Uh, influence or encourage uh, Sims even if they're adults to do something. But why don't we have her uh, maybe maybe offer mental let's do offer mental relaxation tips and say that that is Devin's way of saying you know what why don't we take our minds off things and I'm sure Allison would have wanted us to start working on that siding outside don't you think darling so maybe you should uh maybe we should go outside and like start cleaning up that siding maybe you should continue to uh continue to work on your handiness skill so there we go we'll discuss cognitive focusing techniques as Devin's way of very boldly being like, you know what Allison would have wanted? Uh, the house fixed up. So let's get to it. So there we go. And now he's focused. Oh my gosh, he's way focused. Look at that. Holy moly. So we're going to get Pine out here. And I'm going to have him, let's see, craft sculpture, craft furniture. Oh, look, he can do garden pots and garden planters. Let's have him start working on that. That sounds perfect to work on his handiness skill. And Devin... Now that she has commanded Fern to take care of all of the siblings, Devin's going to actually come outside. Can she take care of any of the plants that she's working on right now? Yes, she can actually water some of these plants. But we're going to send Devin out here to start working on her gardening skill. Because after thinking about it, guys, we are kind of clipping through some of the challenges pretty quickly. So I think making it so that we have to complete the uh, freelance botanist aspiration with Devin, because she's the one who wants to inherit the farm, even though it doesn't really gel that well with her personality, I kind of love that conflict between her personality and her aspirations is a story in itself and I love it, but we're gonna make Devin complete this freelance botanist ability before the end of the challenge in order to be fully eligible to take over the family farm. It's not enough to repair the house. It's not enough to remove the gremlins. It's not enough to lift the curse and it's not enough to get rid of all of the <laughs> gigantic stumps and everything else. She also needs to complete this botanist skill and get those cow plants to prove that she is worthy of the honor of running this place. And I think that works pretty well. Also, I thought about it and I talked with some of our Patreon Discord members about it um, on how to gather up the cow plants. I was wondering just what exactly would be the best way to get the cow plants. I definitely need to start collecting them now if they're going to grow in time. But our rule is going to be if we have a cow plant berry, we must plant it. You can't just hoard all of them so that you can try to keep them all alive at the end of the challenge because you've only had to keep them alive like at the very end. But I don't think we're going to send our sims to the normal places you can send them to collect cow plants. Normally, you can go off. Devin, uh, can you can you uh, fertilize any of these? Oh, she can, but I don't want to. I'm going to have her plant more of those exotic dragon fruits actually and I think like this is going to be an orchard should I have this I think is going to be like a bunch of flowers I think we'll do fruits oh there's oh they're gonna die Devin get over here your onions are on the on the fritz your onions are on the fritz Devin <laughs> all right maybe I'll plant yeah maybe I'll plant the dragon fruit over here but I'm gonna make Devin plant all of them all right let me put this here one two three four five there we go i don't think we have six do we have six there we go and then we'll go ahead and plant all of them but anyway what i was uh saying is that i talked to our patreon discord about what would be fair for this challenge in gathering up the cow berries because i personally have collected so many cow plant berries from taking my sims to go fishing at the lucky springs park you can get lots of cow plant berries from there and i think that would kind of spoil the challenge then because you could just send a sim over there for a couple afternoons and probably end up with most of your cow plants so i think what we're going to do is we are only going to allow cow plants that are grafted or cow plants that are collected from the fishing waters of the forgotten grotto from unlocking the forgotten grotto here on the farm so you either have to be really talented at your gardening skill 
and graft together a snapdragon and a dragon fruit in order to create the uh, the cow plant. Or you can unlock this mine by reaching level 10 of the handiness skill and getting rid of all of these rocks. And then um, once you do that, you can go fishing inside of the Forgotten Grotto and possibly fish up a cow plant. So I think that's what we're going to do because it kind of goes more in the spirit of the challenge to work on the family farm and with the skills you gain from the family farm rather than have the challenge just like go to Lucky Springs and go to the park and be there for two afternoons and bada boom bada boom you've managed to pull off getting the cow plant. Uh, so I think that that works out and I apologize if that sounds a little confusing. I think it made sense so if it didn't make sense just let me know. All right so where did the where did it go buddy? <laughs> Pine, what'd you do with it? What'd you do with the, the new pot? Like, he made a new gardening pot that he can possibly give to his wife. Pot to possibly? Oh, no, I shouldn't do it. Sorry, I was trying to make a pun out of, like, possibly, like, pot pottedly. <laughs> oh, no. Siri, stop. Don't laugh at your own really bad puns. All right, so here we go. This is the little normal garden pot that he just made. So Pine is building up his handiness skill. We'll have to see if it's enough to repair the siding. Once he gets handiness level four, we can repair all of the house siding and remove all of those big old holes in the siding. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and have him sell this pot, this plant pot for now, so that we can kind of work on getting a little bit of money because we have all of the fields. I just don't feel like he would need it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just have him sell it. I, it would be kind of nice to have him, like, keep it, but we don't really need to. All right, there you go. And let's have him go ahead and continue. Maybe a garden planter or a bar stool? Maybe we could just have him craft sculptures. Knife blocks, horse sculptures. Let's let him do horses. How close are you, my friend? on that handiness skill. Oh, he's really doing great. And actually those cognitive focusing methods that Devin gave him that made him super focused and enlightened are improving his handiness skill. So that's awesome. All right, how's the baby? Oh, the baby is very sad. Why is the baby sad? Where's the baby? The baby's sad and wants to ask Fern for food. Fern, oh boy. Your mom's gonna have some things to say if you haven't been like taking care of your siblings and cleaning up these messes. All right. Come on, Bubby. Where are you going? Are you chasing after your sister? He's chasing after his sister who's outside. And actually we can have, uh, I actually got this build a bridge project so that our young Miss Amber can start working on this. So I'm gonna have her start working carefully on this school project. And she's gaining focus and responsibility from it. And that totally fits her personality. And her baby brother is on his way out to join her. And, uh, oh, look at that. That's so cool. I've never seen the school projects up close before. Oh, I love it. That's so awesome. I'm in love with this. And she would totally play with those in the backyard. All right. And we'll have this little guy. Are you not, are you not doing well on your needs, buddy? You're doing okay. He's very, oh, he had a nightmare. Oh, and he wants to ask for him for food or look at a book or talk to a stuffed animal. Can he talk to a stuffed animal about this? Where is he? Where is he? All right, we'll let the little guy just kind of wander with his family for a minute. And then don't you, don't you go chat to your daughter? Okay, so that means, doo -doo -doo. so if we're only going to get the cow plant, from having high gardening skill. Then guess who needs to spend a little bit of her time today? Reading about gardening in the level one gardening book. Thank goodness we have a fully stocked library thanks to Great Aunt Allison. Let's see, are we, are we above that? Are we too good? Are we too good for this book now? Okay guys, actually, yes, Pine just, oh yeah, look at that. Handiness level three. Pine now has a chance to find rare parts and can carve a few more sculptures. Fantastic. That'll make Devin very happy. Uh, Devin, where the heck is your gardening skill? Okay, it's already gardening four. I can't believe that she's already raised her skill that high. And she's learning about the need for fertilizer. So let's have her go inside. We're going to have her dig around inside of here. Uh, let's have her open this. Where, oh, where? Give me just a second. Oh, oh, oh. I think I saw it. I think I saw it. That's level three. Okay. We need to find level two gardening. Aha! Uh -huh. I see it. All right. And we're going to have her read gardening volume two, getting your thumbs green. And I think as time goes on, Devin is actually going to find out 
Hey, read that book. What are you doing, you goose? There you go. Don't just leave it on the ground. But I think as time goes on, Devon is actually going to learn, as she increases her gardening skill, that she needs fish. And that may be the freedom that a certain young teenager who's in charge of taking care of her siblings right now might be able to... There we go. Let's have her hug him lovingly. Maybe make funny faces to try to cheer him up because he had a nightmare. But Fern's in charge of her siblings right now, so she needs to make them happy. Even though she's exhausted. Oh, that toddler. I'm going to melt because the toddler is just so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, and Fern just acquired the comedy skill because she's trying to make her brother laugh and have a good time. Uh, let's see. Let's have her play with him. And then somebody, Pine is worried about the toddler, but you know what? His daughter has it. She's going to have to focus on it. Ooh, elephant and dragon sculpture. What? Let's have him work on those. Also, who started the rocks of fire? Don't let the toddler wander into it. All right. Usual kid. Trying to check her phone while she's supposed to be taking care of her baby brother. But he's almost happy now. <gasps> That's so precious. Oh, I wasn't prepared. Oh my gosh. Look at him go. <laughs> what an amazing teenage sister she is. Oh, Fern, I love you. Oh my gosh, I can't handle that. I know everyone always freaks out when it's time to play with the toddlers, but come on, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. All right, Fern, that's your job. Got to take care of the little ones today. This little one is very happy and a little hungry and having a fantastic time. Oh, that makes me happy. And Amber's working hard. Good, everybody's, everybody's working on some projects. But yeah, Fern might be able to escape being responsible for her siblings if she can convince her mom that she can bring home plenty of fish fertilizer. And maybe that will give her a little bit of freedom. <gasps> and I forgot she brought home the apple. Yes, we need to plant the apple on the farm. Oh my gosh, that would be so good. In fact, do we even have gardening? We don't even have gardening skills. So maybe Fern can convince her sister or her mom that she can, uh, she can work on other stuff. All right, and then let's have this little guy. He wants to talk about princesses or book help or hug or hug lovingly. Talk about favorite color. <gasps> That's so cute. Oh, I love all of it. Um, book help. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know about that. Let's talk about princesses just because maybe her long hair and then let's ask for food. And then out here, slowly but surely, Devin is putting together the pieces and learning what does it take to raise a cow plant and build a successful farm. She truly is the kind of person, because she's a genius, who believes it's only a matter of commitment and focus and lots and lots of book reading that uh, you need in order to put it all together so that you, oh, and let's make a mirror. That sounds like a good idea. He might give it to his daughter so that they'll have a mirror to look in uh, if they want one, because there isn't one in their room because the whole house is empty, empty because they inherited it like that. That's so cool. You keep going, Pine. And then when he hits level four, we can clean up all this. Oh, so cool. But yeah, Devin is definitely the kind to believe that all it takes... No, 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 no. You finish reading that. You're almost ready to level up. That all it takes to... <laughs> yeah, look at her. All it takes to run a farm is just lots of book reading and proper planning. She's a little bit of a, a snob that way of thinking that it's all just a matter of flow charts and to-do list and focus. And meanwhile, while she focuses, her children develop extreme independence because she's not really keeping track of what the heck they're doing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, she She's a little bit of a snob, but I actually love that about her. Make a silly from being silly. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, and now Fern is taking care of her little brother. Good. She actually does great with him. Melts my heart. Oh my gosh. Ew. She better clean that up. I don't think her mom would be very happy if there were dirty dishes in here. And then Amber. Wow, Amber's got to work on that project for a long time, doesn't she? That's so interesting. All right, and then did you get him some food? Okay, good. So she got him some food. Then can she clean anything up? I think she might know that her sister made a mess up here. So we'll have her clean it up because she'll get in trouble with her mom if it's not completely done. All right. This lady's almost done. Gaining another gardening skill point, which will get us a little bit close to grafting. 
Um, and I wonder if I should have her plant any more plants, like look for more plants to plant so that we can get her gardening skill up. <gasps> Is that one ready? Dun, dun, dun. We might have her come out and harvest this up when she's ready because it's very important to have her keep a busy, busy garden. Boom. Level four of the gardening skill, uh, but a busy, busy garden to gain those gardening skill points so that when the time comes, we can graft together all the pieces we need for a snapdragon and then be able to turn that snapdragon into a cow plant by grafting it with our, uh, our dragon fruit. So actually, if I can just find a dragon fruit we might be able to jump on that part of the challenge really soon all right so what was that so oh she can take cuttings yes that was level five yes okay we're definitely going to make that happen so we've got lots of challenges to do and amber also uh can get better moodlets from playing arith uh, arithmetic games on computers and she can create health potions at the science table Ooh, very cool all right, so we are making some progress. It's kind of slow progress, and I might have to figure out how we're going to get the snapdragons, because I don't think snapdragons are here. Oh, what's this? There's plants across the street. <gasps> Blackberry bushes. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right, we might have to do some investigating across the street. We might send the sisters across the street tomorrow to do a little bit of rummaging and collecting wild blackberries to eat and gathering some treasures because I'm sure that uh, little Amber would be very eager to search for more fossils. She's kind of medically minded that way. And I know her sister wants to be free to search for fish again and frogs. Oh, look at all of this. This is so cool. But I'm going to have to look up what it takes to graft a snapdragon or where we could just find one. And like I said, I hate to take my sims just to Lucky Springs so that they can just fish all day long for a cow plant. And I, I kind of want to make them have to graft it instead. But eh, it's kind of tricky when we found a dragon fruit. We got lucky with a dragon fruit. And then it's a matter of like, so do we make them graft the snapdragon? Or do we just go to where we know there's a snapdragon and smush the two together? And then day six, we already have our cow plants. Not sure. Kind of got to think about it. I think honestly adding in the freelance botanist being a skill that we have to make her do is another great way to really kind of balance the challenge because getting cow plants is ironically not going to be as difficult as I thought it was if we can manage to get the snapdragon. And I might make it so we can only order plants and then you have to like graph them together. But I don't know if you order the starter plants, if you can eventually get a snapdragon from that mix or and you have to find them in the world. So that didn't make any sense, I'm sure. Basically, I'm just debating because it feels so like, ah, uh, it takes away a little bit of the oomph of the challenge to just go and pick the plants that you need straight off the side of the street. But I mean, we've still got the handiness skill. We've still got to build up all these other things. We've still got to keep the cow plants alive. So I'm sure it balances out. But all right, guys, so I think we've accomplished quite a bit. We have a lovely little project going on here with Young Fern. Pine is very focused in trying to put together all of the things his lovely fiance has requested. Somebody is getting a little bit tired and needs some attention. In fact, he's actually getting very tired. And somebody else is exhausted because she spent the night with, oh, and yay, I think she just got like, oh, she got some responsibility from taking care of that. Huzzah! Look at her. She's getting responsibility because today she was in charge of her siblings. I love it. All right. And we, we're going to go ahead and why don't we read Aspen to sleep just to be super sweet. So, all right, the family is putting things together slowly but surely. We have a new mirror. Good job, Pine. Super proud of you. Uh, go ahead and craft a, a bunny sculpture, I guess. <laughs> and hopefully the household will really come together. Now that we can graft together the fruit... And Devin is feeling a little bit stinky, so I think she's, she's a snob, so she would shower before going and searching for plants in the wild. But yeah, I'm going to have to think about it. I will know by next time if I just want her to go and get the snapdragon or not. But we'll, we probably will. We'll just go pluck a snapdragon and then graft them together and then take care of our cow plants. So that may make the cow plant part of the challenge super easy. Or maybe we should only, maybe you can't graft together cow plants 
And so to add a little random challenge, you should only get it from the mines? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask the Patreon Discord. They'll let me know. But all right, guys, I'm really enjoying this. You're going to be seeing a lot more cow plant challenge showing up soon. And as we settle into the challenge, we will just start flowing into the stories that the family themselves can tell. Like uh, my wonderful, sweet little pine here who just sobs all day long over the death of Allison, who he didn't even know. And uh, how amazingly Fern is actually really great with her little brother. And that kind of surprises me just because I thought she would want her freedom and to get away from having to take care of him. But she doesn't seem to mind. She does have a very nurturing personality. He's like, there you are, woman. <laughs> there. Yeah. So she does have a very, very nurturing personality. So I think that she would actually... Um, She's actually, see, she even has the growing so fast moodlet because she's so happy to watch her little brother grow. So I think she'd make a great veterinarian because she's willing to take care of the little ones who need taken care of and nurtured. All right, are you going to read them to bed? Because that's going to be like the most precious thing ever. Hmm. Ah, I love it. Yeah, the household stinks. Don't worry, once your dad finishes repairing everything, we can change it from filthy to a nice household. Oh, gosh my heart. All right, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.